It's my view. House prices, I don't know. You practically need to take out a mortgage to buy one nowadays. <laughs> Ooh, the last decent pencil I bought was uh, Malaysian. Beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Must be worth quite a bit now, I think. So, uh, <laughs> he gets all misty-eyed and he puffs himself up and he says, I do it for my country. And he stabs himself in the head with a pair of scissors, right? So the Irishman says... Are you ready for your main courses now? Uh, yes, thank you. Excellent. Um, can I just ask you something? Certainly, sir. How do you do it? Do what, sir? Well, how can you hear from the other end of the restaurant the exact moment when I get to the punchline of my jokes? <laughs> that is the fourth time you've done it since I came in. Well, now, that's actually a very good question, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, there's actually a tiny microphone hidden underneath your axe. <laughs> oh, and we have a receiver in the kitchen. So it's very simple. Right. Really. Yes, I'd always wondered. Right. Thank you. Uh, now, who is having the lamb? Thank you. Here we go, madam. Right. So, the Englishman had said... Uh, um, I do it for the Queen and jumped out of the window. Right, yes. <laughs> and, and the Scotsman says, I do it for my country. And, and he... Stabbed himself in the head with a pair of scissors. Right, exactly. <laughs> And so then the Irishman says... And you're having the chicken, sir. What? <laughs> chicken lacroix prepared at your table. Yes, thank you. Right, right. So, the Irishman says... Ha oh, my God! <laughs> what? Chicken lacroix. What are you doing? What am I doing? Yes. Well, sir, I have to make sure the knife is properly sharp. <laughs> the chicken, it's still alive. Not for much longer, sir. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Something wrong with the lamb, madam? Oh, no. You're not, you're not going to kill a live chicken in here. Well, certainly, sir. This is chicken lacroix, as you ordered. Fresh, plump baby chicken prepared at your table. Stop, stop, stop. Don't kill that chicken. Don't kill it? No. But you'd rather eat it while it's still alive? No. <laughs> well, then I have to... Uh, no, no, I'm telling you. Actually, don't kill it. Well, why not, sir? Well, you know, it's... Not worth it. Think of the letters we'll get. <laughs> letters? Who from? Well, I don't know. Mad people. <laughs> mad people? No, you know the sort of thing. Uh, why, oh, why, oh, why was my five-year-old grandmother forced to watch a <laughs> live chicken be hacked to death in the name of so-called entertainment? That kind of thing. Well, it's no worse than being hacked to death in the name of so-called lunch. Well, <laughs> I know actually. that. I beg your pardon? I think it is worse. Oh, do you? Yes, I do. Well, that's just her point of view. That's perfectly fair. <laughs> right, well, let's ask the chicken, shall we? Um, would you rather die as part of a sketch on national television or would you rather go straight into a Tesco sandwich unmourned and unnoticed? Look, I'm <laughs> sorry, Hugh. It's just the way I feel, okay? What's the matter with you? We've had a great time. We showed it the Blue Peter studio, didn't we? <laughs> it, it sat next to Desmond Lynham in the canteen. <laughs> what do you want? Look... I know we agreed that we should actually kill the chicken on air, but I, I think I'd be happy now if you didn't. Hap What's happiness got to do with it? Look, basically, the whole joke of this is supposed to be that I can't get out my Irish joke. And, and if you sort of add this, I mean, really, it's not... I, I think agree, we've gone yes, off it. Well, all right, I was, yeah, OK, if everyone's just going to go squeamish at the last minute. Yes, all right, well, we'll call it off then. Yes, fine. Excuse right. me. Um, so I'll just have a green salad, please, A green waiter. salad, yes, coming right up. Thank you. Excellent. Now, where was I? Yes, the Englishman said I'd do it uh, for, my uh, for my queen mm -hmm. and jumped out the window. Right. And the Scotsman said I'd do it uh, for my country and stabbed himself in the head with a pair of scissors. Mm -hmm. And the Irishman says, well, now what are you doing? Never heard a lettuce scream before. <laughs> what? Frightening, isn't it? Never occurred to you that a lettuce might have dreams, hopes, ambitions, a family? <laughs> Look, back of the lettuce, will you let me finish my joke? Oh, I'm sorry. Right. So, the Irishman says... I wouldn't sack it. <laughs> <laughs> Except in non-member states where you're obliged to eat your own. <laughs>